Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this quick video, I'll show you how to use a de-esser on reverb channels in Studio One. I think de-essing reverb and delay channels can help with two important elements of a mix, which are transients and depth. By de-essing a reverb effects channel before the reverb plugin, it gives you the ability to soften the attack of the signal being sent to the reverb or delay before it hits the reverb or delay. This helps keep the transient of the source less affected and often allows for more reverb or delay level in the mix, which can create more options for creating a space or perception of depth in the mix. I have three reverb effects channels in this session, one for snare, one for hats, and one for ride. Each channel has a de-esser before the reverb plugin. Let's listen to the track with the de-essing. Let's turn off the de-essing and listen. Again with the de-essing on. Now let's solo the clap and turn the de-esser on and off. Now the hats de are on and off. Now the ride de are on and off. Not as apparent on the ride, but it does set it back a bit. This can be useful to smooth out reverbs and delays. This can be applied to any instrument, not only drums. I hope you enjoyed the quick video. Now go make some great music.